savage tonight definitely savage tonight <laughs> What's good guys, it's Martika here, back with another video, and if you don't know, get to know, hit that subscribe button down below, also hit that notification bell to stay tuned for daily and consistent content. Ooh, definitely savage tonight, we've got a dump in, straight from the Love Island Vibes Club, someone is going home. I'm going to jump straight into this review. We've got Liv and Mary, all the girls, they're all talking up on the roof. They're discussing last night's events about Faye, about how Chloe, she didn't graduate with Toby. I'm sure they had a bit of ping pong going on. I swear they did a bit of a little something under the sheets. Mary's saying how Liv is a 10 out of 10. She's got nothing to worry about. Like, obviously, she's still concerned about the whole with Jake saying how in the beginning, how he wouldn't rip off her clothes, which obviously she should be concerned about that. We all know that Jake is still in for the 50k. Faye, Faye then talks about how she's fine from last night. Hurricane Faye, are you sure you're fine? Are you sure? Supposedly she was struggling with the situation of becoming someone's girlfriend. But do you know what? It's any excuse to just to, to sack it in the bin with Faye. That's what I think anyway. Even Dale, Dale is talking about how he thinks that Faye was talking about how, oh, this is just only, a, this is just a reason just to sack it off, the, the whole relationship. In my opinion, I completely agree with Dale. I've been saying this from Friday night that yes, any excuse to sack off Teddy, she's basically sacking him off. It's not about, oh, because, because... I can't deal with being a girlfriend and I don't, be, I, I don't want to get hurt. Everyone's going to get hurt in life. Like, it's just something you have to take a risk with. If you know that the person's loyal and you know the person is a legit guy, like, or female, then you go ahead. You can't predict what's going to happen. She should be predicting is dissolving them lips because, boy... Then the girls on the roof terrace, Millie starts talking about how her and Liam kissed Friday night. So basically, Millie Moo is back on the cards. Them two are solidified. Them two are, yes, back. Connection is growing stronger. Chloe says how she didn't graduate. Like I said, I definitely think them two, her and Toby, Toby were having a bit of ping pong under the sheets because the movement... The movements that were going in, the movements that did go on that night, night vision could spotty. Then Jake then pulls Faye for a quick chat to discuss about the night, last night's events, which happened Friday. She's basically saying how, oh, I'm not, I'm more pissed off, I'm more peed off at you, Jake, than Ted, this whole Teddy situation. She's more peed off at this whole Jake situation. Is that because she thinks, oh, basically, she's basically saying because then, because them two had like a brother and sister relationship and she did not expect Jake to encourage all the guys to go and crack on. Like, if Jake's encouraged, I'm not even taking up for Jake because he's a snake at the end of the day. But if Jake has encouraged the guys to crack on, that's the guys' responsibilities to do what they're going to do. And if they crack on, that's down to them. It's not down to Jake. She shouldn't really be taking it out on Jake. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Jake and Faye situation. If... Jake was in the wrong, obviously Jake is a snake and he's in the wrong, but if Faye really blew that out of proportion, definitely think she blew that out of proportion. After that chat, Jake then survived Hurricane Faye, moving on to basically Lib and Jake round by the fire pit. She's basically putting up her guard and saying, listen, I, I'm letting you know how I feel now because I'm not, I'm not going to be sitting here worried about everyone else's feelings. I need to know like how you feel about me, basically. She's obviously still concerned about the, the comment of, of Jake saying how, oh, he wouldn't rip off her clothes and da 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 da. I don't find that she's insecure. I just feel like she just wants reassurance, which they basically nip it in the bud. He's then basically so consistent on saying how Lib is his girlfriend, Lib is his girlfriend. He definitely wants that bag. He's in that bag. He cares about that bag too much. And then he wipes his lips off after they then kiss. That's very concerning. Man starts singing extra, extra read all about it. Teddy is basically feeling so low because of this diam gyal. This diam gyal. Talking about, oh, if I was on the outside, I would have gone back to him. Or I would have basically gone back to the guy. Not on the outside now, love, eh? You're on the inside, in the villa. You've got a sh one shot to take and you, you, you're you just fumbling your bag and you're fumbling your love, your relationship, like over over this whole Clarice situation. She's making it a bigger thing than it is. It's not that deep. But basically, she's saying, oh, Teddy must walk into that villa boasting about how, oh, I had a sexual attraction to a next girl. Like, it's not like 
when you walk down the street when when a man walks down the street do you really think um when he has a sexual attraction to the next girl he's gonna go and tell his girlfriend oh i found this girl really nice and yeah she was fire all of them things you think that re that's really gonna go down Faye? like what kind of world is she living in she, i think I feel like she's a bit delusional millie and liam they talk about how their connection's getting deeper it's now millie moo she's happy that they shared a kiss in last night's episode as in friday because the connection is stronger this is she's basically saying how when they shared a kiss that the connection is stronger compared to when they did share a kiss in the beginning. That was mainly based on sexual attraction. I feel like Millie and Liam coming back together could put them in the winning position again because they've had a breakup and then they've had that strong connection again. Let me know in the comments what you think about Millie and Liam because I'm a bit like, my head's up in the air with them too if they're gonna win or not. I'm not, I don't want them to win but I feel like now that Faye and Teddy are not gonna win, I feel like they're probably the next couple to try and get that bag unless it could be Jake and Lib but I still don't think like they're strong. And moving on to Mary and Dale. Da Mary pulls Dale for a quick conversation to say how she thinks they're moving too fast, rapid, like, like Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't know if she's, like obviously they've been in there together th for three, four days. I don't think she realises that Love Island is over her. No, ain't no next guy gonna come in for her. Um, But I guess she wants to take it slow. She's getting a bit too smothered with the way Dale is acting. Obviously, they're not showing everything between Dale and Mary. They're just basically a part of the furniture, so yeah. Kaz is taking advice from Toby. Toby of all people. The one that ran through 10 different gyal on speed dating apps, on Tinder, on Bumble, on, you know, all of them. How is it that Toby is giving Kaz advice about being civil with Matt? And Kaz have obviously had, like, the animosity between the two of them, like, they sleep with the backs turned. Do you know one thing I don't get yet is if you found another guy in the villa, you still have to sleep in the same bed with the guy that you're not compatible with or you're not seeing eye to eye with. Like, is that, that must be, let me know in the comments if that must be, that must be in the terms and conditions of their contract. It sounds so small, yeah, it sounds so minor, but it's probably in their contract that they can't crack on or they can't sleep in another bed, obviously because they are on a script. They're running on a scripting. It all obviously needs to make sense. Kaz and Matt, they basically squash any beef that they have. They obviously squash any beef. Matt basically tells it straight how, listen, when I'm done with someone, I'm basically done. And yeah, their their beef is squashed. They're fine. Um, obviously that ha that conversation had to be had because it was just, it was just basically Kaz and Matt sleeping in the same bed, like. They've, them two are in some World War Five or something. It was kind of uncomfortable to watch. And then Kaz and Tyler go for a chat. She discusses how she wants to open up her doors. Open up her doors now, okay. She wants to give Tyler 100%, 100% of her, you know, loyalty and, you know, love, connection, everything. Well, let's see if, let's see if Tyler can handle all of Kaz because Man couldn't even handle all of Kaz when Kaz and Moore was gone. Now let's see when Tyler's got her full attention. But I do see that connection between them. Like, there is like that connection they had before Kaz and Moore. It's definitely there. Instead of calling Tyler, Tyler, Ty, she's calling him Ty, 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 Ty. So basically, she's giving the man a whole new name. Now, Faye and Teddy, they then talk on the terrace, the roof terrace. Why is it, what am I not seeing, guys? Let me know in the comments. How is it that Faye is so upset about this situation between Clarice and Teddy? Like, he's a man. These men do these things, like, it's, a, it's, in their, it's in their nature, you know? Like, obviously not every man's nature, but you know, like, if he's gonna have a sexual attraction for a girl, he's gonna have a sexual attraction, he didn't pursue anything with the girl. If he pursued something with the girl, then then I could be like, yes, there was a problem, because obviously he had Faye in the but I feel like she's blown it out of proportion. She's just acting like some Karen. She wants to be some victim all the time. Like you're not no victim. Everyone's got their insecurities, but yes, yeah, so she has to have she have to she has to have her insecurities on top level. On top level. Why? She's acting like a full blown Karen and I'm not here for it. They they discuss on the terrace how basically Faye discussed how she's hurt and how she doesn't want to give her trust to anyone and how she wants to continue the journey on herself. Like you didn't come to Love Island. They did not come to Love Island to sit there on her once. What, really? You're gonna con you're gonna just try and continue the journey alone when this is Love Island. You ain't gonna win no 50k thinking like that, Faye. Like, sort it out. I feel like she's literally disregarded. Um, I feel like she's disregarded Teddy's whole. I feel like she's disregarded 
Teddy on a whole. I just didn't need to just end it like that. I don't feel like she's hurt because of Teddy. I feel like she's hurt because of her own insecurities. I feel like she's hurt because of her own insecurities and it's manifesting up inside of her. She can't let it go. Like something's going on with her. Something's going on with her deeper than we, than we know. She's saying how it's unfair how she didn't know about it but all the other islanders knew about it but then later on she retracts it and then says how she's the only person that knew about it and she, when she's seen the sh when she's seen the clip that she was shocked and everyone else was shocked and then later on she said that she was the only one shocked um one minute she's saying one thing, then the next thing she's changing up. The only thing she was concerned about on Friday night was the whole situation between Jake and, you know, like him not being a brotherly, like, influence and influencing the guys to go and crack on with other girls. That shouldn't be her concern. Her sh concern should have been, okay, why didn't, why didn't Teddy tell me? But that's, then again, that still shouldn't be her concern because if he's attracted to another female, that's just human nature move on. Teddy really wanted fame back and I think, do you know what, there's plenty of other girls outside for you, Teddy. Like, you know, like, there's bare girls out there that are rooting for Teddy, like, just move on and dash with a girl, dash our way. So, yeah, he basically thought he had a second chance with Faye over the whole Clarice situation and in Casa Moore situation. Obviously not. She's disregarded it and she's saying, oh, I just want to continue the journey and she walks off. Them two are completely finished. Them two are done. Then later on, Teddy is sleeping obviously by himself. Mary's sleeping, Mary's sleeping by herself obviously because Abby and Dale are covered up. Um, Mary lets out the tea about how Faye said how if she was on the outside, she would have gone back to the guy. So what's the difference between on the outside and on the inside? Like, you let me know in the comments if you feel like Teddy's at fault because I don't feel like Teddy's at fault. Next up, Jake then gets a text message to say how there's a Love Island vibe beach club and they're all going to it. Finally, the girls get to party as well and let their hair down because Casa and all happened. The guys got to enjoy. Obviously, Mabel came in everyone enjoyed but you know what like tensions were high back then so now all of them are getting to enjoy each other's time millie and liam they discuss how they want to be exclusive but not girlfriend and boyfriend which i feel like exclusive and boyfriend and girlfriend is kind of the same we talked about how toby mugged her off in the beginning and how they're back together how crazy is that how she's taking him back so easily um just like how millie's taking back liam so easily but you know what? The game to win, they've got to do what they've got to do. They're on a show. They can't be waiting a whole three months to take someone back. I love the way Kaz matches her eyeshadow, her glasses, and her bikini together. Yes, sis. She is giving what she needs to give, and that's that. Love that about Kaz. She always matches. Laura Whitmore enters the Love Island Vibes Beach Club, and she has come to mess up the ting. She's come to basically tell them three guys and three girls are vulnerable. The girls that are vulnerable in tonight's episode are actually Kaz. Kaz, I did not expect Kaz. Kaz to be vulnerable in the top three that the public voted for. Then Abby, quite obvious because she hasn't made a connection with anyone and she doesn't have, you know, yeah, she doesn't have a connection with anyone and she's just been like she's just basically been a sim character throughout and mary they're just part of the furniture them too there's nothing to um but kaz i'm still shocked so then we've got lib chloe faye and millie they're the safest ones in there at the moment the boys that received the fewest votes from the public is tyler jake and dale i, I did kind of expect dale because He's not really carrying anything. Yes, yes, he does give good conversations when it comes down to arguments. Um, and Tyler. I was quite shocked with Tyler as well. I don't think Jake's going to go and I don't think Tyler's going to go. So it's obvious that Dale's going to leave. And then with the girls, I don't think Kath is going to go. I feel like obviously Abby and Mary, they're the two to go. It's only one boy and one girl that gets to stay. So we'll see in tomorrow night's episode. Actually still quite shocked that Kaz was picked to be the most vulnerable. Wow. So it's Matt, Toby, Liam and Teddy, ones that were not voted most vulnerable. Um, literally they put us, Love Island producers, they put a spanner in the works tonight. They definitely shocked me with tonight's episode. Like definitely put a twist on tonight's episode. Anyway, that's it for me guys. I'm gonna wrap it up. 
Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about tonight's episode. Also, let me know what you think about these videos and what you think I should pop out with next because I am loving this YouTube life. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.